Hello everyone, what's going on? My name is Rye Goes Pop and welcome to Yandar our horror movie collection video. So, I got some new movies today, so let's begin. First shelf, I have the free movie action pro packs, so in which I'm only highlighting World War Z. World War Z, please do not ask me, ask me about Super 8 or Deep Impact. They're, they're just not horror. Enough. Next up is the five film horroring horror collection, which has The Exorcist, the miniseries It, Hidden, and the reboot and the remakes of both Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw. Eight Horror Classics, which has The Faculty, Immortality from Dusk Till Dawn, Prophecy, Subspecies, Dracula 2000, Castle Freak, and Reflecting Skin. Followed by 15 Big Box Horror Pack, in which it has a lot of unknown movies, but it does have the first two Prom Night movies, so yeah. Next up is 20 Days Later, a good British zombie horror film. Next up is the ABCs of Death, in which I'm quite bewildered by it. Next up is the, come on, hang on. Next up is the Alien Six Home Pack, followed by, let's get this. Next up is the Alien vs. Predator Double Feature Pack, followed by All Halls Eve. Yeah, I plan on watching it soon. Followed by American Psycho, a classic. Army of Darkness, the best way to conclude the Evil Dead trilogy. The Babadook, The Banishing, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, Black Friday, The Black Phone, Blood Quantum, Bodies by His Bodies, The Burning, The Brain, Brightburn, a fun superhero horror movie like What If Superman Was Evil as a Kid, followed by Cabin in the Woods, one of my all time favorites, K Man 2 film pack, which has the original and the requel, Carrie Free film pack, and the two film pack of the remake. The entire Chucky Saga, Christmas Blade Christmas, a good Christmas horror film on Shudder, The Collector and The Collection, The Conjuring Universe, Countdown, Critters Horror Film Collection, Dead Silence, The Deep Blue Sea Trilogy, the Demonic Toys Free Film Pack, which has Demonic Toys and Dollman vs. Demonic Toys, so don't ask me about Dollman, that's not horror. Next up is the Dennis 2 film pack. Seen the original, but not seen the sequel. Next up is the 2 film pack with Doctor Sleep and the Shining. Here's Johnny. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Athens. Followed by Don't Breathe 1 and 2. Escape Room and Escape Room Tournament of Champions. The original Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2. Final Destination 5 film collection. Firestarter and its remake. Next up, I have Friday the 13th 8 film pack. Followed by... The, the remake, which is the killer cut, Fright Night, The Fun House Massacre, Ghostbusters 1, 2, and Afterlife, 2014's Godzilla, and the Godzilla and Kong free film pack. A two film pack with Gremlins and Goonies, so I'm highlighting Gremlins only. Don't ask me about Goonies. Next up is Gremlins 2, followed by Halloween, one of my favorites, followed by Halloween's 2 and 3, followed by Halloween 4 and 5. Followed by Curse H2O and Resurrection, the unrated director's cut of Rob Zombie's remake by Rob Zombie, and its sequel. I don't have the theatrical cut, which I got those. Next up is Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. Next up is Hellboy, Hellboy 2 of the Golden Army, and the reboot. Followed by Hellfest, Hellraiser's Pre Fruit 8, High and Seek with Robert De Niro, Hostel 1 and 2, Hostel 3. The Last Summer Trilogy, which has I Know What You Did Last Summer, I Still Know, and then and the God Awful I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. Highly don't recommend that film. Next up is Lee Wendell's modern adaptation of The Invisible Man, The Insidious Four Film Collection, It 1 2, Jaws. And the Jaws sequels, I've seen Jaws, Jaws 2, I've seen The Awful Jaws 3, and the even terrible Jaws to Revenge. Next up is Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. Jeepers Creepers 3 and Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Jordan Peele's free film collection, which has Nope, Us, and Get Out. Followed by the Jurassic World collection, which has Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3. Followed by Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and Dominion. Next up is the Killjoy Trilogy. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. King Kong Triple Feature Pack. Krampus. The Lair. Leprechaun 8 film pack. I've seen the first three movies, as well as... Lep in the Hood, and I really want to get down to watching Leprechaun Returns. Next up is Let Me In, starring Chloe Grace Moretz. Third shelf, 
Ugh. Okay, next up is the Lost Boys Trilogy, the Mag, the Mimic Trilogy, Morbius, it's Morbin time, followed by the Mortal Kombat Triple Feature Pack, and the 2021 Reboot, followed by My Bloody Valentine, and it's 3D Remake, all Nightmare on Elm Street A Film Collection, and the 2010 Reboot, in which I'm not a fan of, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Jackie O'Haley, but I kind of find his portrayal of Freddy's just off-putting. Next up is the M. Night Shyamalan 4 film pack, which has Old, The Visit's Blown Glass. I've watched Old, and it was quite a thrilling surprise. Next up is Old Man, starring Stephen Lang, a.k.a. Norman Nordstrom from Don't Breathe. Pearl, prequel to X. Bet Cemetery, which is basically the original and the remake. Phantasm 5 film collection. Pieces. Poltergeist 1, 2, and 3. And the remake. Predator 4 Film Collection, The Purge and The Purge Anarchy, Election in the First Purge, and The Forever Purge, Puppet Master 9 Film Collection, and The Lilith Right, Prisoners of the Ghost Land starring Nicolas Cage, PG Cycle Gorman, one of my all time favorites on Shudder, followed by the classic Psycho, A Quiet Place, and Part 2, Resident Evil 6 Film Pack, and Welcome to Raccoon City. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. A good, good classic. Followed by Rob Zombie's Firefly Trilogy. Rosemary's Baby. Followed by the Saw 9 Film Collection. So yeah, there's a 10 film on its way. So yeah, I might as well go see it in cinemas when it comes out in October. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Scary Stories, I mean Scary Movies 1, 2, and 3. Followed by Scream 1, 2, and 3. The original's quite good. The original's good in my opinion. Scream 4. Scream 5 or 5 Cream, that's what it should have been called. Followed by Shaun of the Dead, The Strangers 2 Film Pack, Stephen King 4 Film Collection, which has basically The Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, Silver Bullet, and Graveyard Shift. Smile, this movie's quite freaky as hell. Slashback, followed by Tim Burns' classic Sleepy Hollow, Silent Hill. Silent Hill Revelations, Silent Daily Night, followed by Movies 3, 4, and 5, and Silent Night. Studio 666 starring the Foo Fighters, Spawn, Spiral, the Shutter film, not the Saw film. Followed by Spookage. I watched it and it was actually quite surprising. Although I might watch it on Halloween. Next up is Terrifier and Terrifier 2, Terror Times 10 Collection, which has Cabin in the Woods, It Follows Your Next. The Possession, Cabin Fever, The Last, es the Last Exorcism, Sinister, Calling Connecticut, Larry Face and Descent. I've seen It Falls and it's actually good, so yeah, I might watch Cabin Fever someday. Next up is Terror Train, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 1974 original, it followed by the sequel, the 2003 reboot, the prequel to the reboot, and the 2014 direct sequel. Next up is Lady Live in the Grey, followed by The Toxic Avenger, one of my favorite horror movie franchises, which is number one. So I only have the original, and I might plan on, and I might get the all three sequels soon. So yeah. Next up is the Tremors 7 film collection, which is basically movies one through seven. Trick or Treat, a fun, good Halloween movie. Unbreakable, the film that started it all. Followed by Underwater, Underworld. Underworld 5 Film Collection, Unfriended, and its sequel, Unfriended Dark Web, Universal Classics Monster, which is basically Dracula, Frankenstein, The Wolfman, The Invisible Man, The Mummy, and The Bride of Frankenstein, followed by Urban Legend, Urban Legends The Final Cut, and Urban Legends Bloody Mary. Van Helsing, starring Hugh Jackman, followed by Venom Swan 2, followed by VHS, VHS 2, and 94. Wes Craven's Dracula Trilogy, followed by Willy's Wonderland, again starring Nicolas Cage, and yes, the FNAF movie, the Finance of Praise movie is on its way, so yay. Followed by Wishmasters 1 2, Wolf Creek, X, and Zombie. Whew, that's a long one. Okay, next shelf. Okay, for this shelf, I have Furry Days of Night, 976 Evil, directed by Freddy Krueger himself, Robert England. 1408, four movie thrills and chills pack, which has Frankenfish, like Pleasant Free, Loch Ness Terror and Piranha 2, 
I've seen Lake Placid Free, and I kind of felt that the overuse of CGI crocodiles is just too bizarre. Next up is the four movie collection, which has Slitter, Alter, Cry Wolf, and Return. Slitter, directed by James Gunn. Followed by the Midnight Collection, which has four bloody slashers. Eight movie horror pack, which has Deadly Legends. And for some reason, Puppet Master 3 is on there. Next up is the eight movie pack, which has a lot of low budget crap. But I did see King Bong, Evil Bong 2 to be more specific, and that movie's just bonkers. Next up is the 8 movie pack, which has Waxwork, 976, Evil 2, Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College, The Unholy, Choppy Mall, Slaughter High, Chud 2, and Class of 1999. Following that, I have Lake Dead. So yeah, you can see a trend going, which is, a, which is 8 films to die for out of the Dark Horror Fest. Followed by Dark Ride, The Depths of Ian Stone, The Grave Dancers. The Abandoned, Nightmare Man, and Unrest, and Crazy Apes. Ten, Pray Dead Horror Film Collection, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, the original Amityville Horror, and the remake with Ryan Reynolds, Anaconda, and Anaconda's Hunt for the Blood Orchid, Apollo 18, pretty much the Blair Witch Project in space, the Barge People, Better Watch Out, uh, Good Australian Christmas horror movie. The Belko Experiment, produced by James Gunn and directed by the, by the guy who directed Wolf Creek. The Blade Trilogy. The Blair Witch Project. Butterfly Effect 1, 2, and 3. The Bye Bye Man. Crawl. The Crazies. The Cellar. Next up, I have the, re the remake of the reboot of Child's Play. Not a fan of it, but hey, I like Mark Hamill. Next up is Children of the Corn, Creature from the Black Lagoon, followed by Creep Show and Creep Show Two and Creep Show Three, followed by Cube, The Cursed, Dark Obsessions War Film Pack, which has The Boy Next Door, Curve, Endless Love and Fear, Grindhouse presents Death Proof, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Bram Stoker's Dracula, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Donnie Darko and S. Darko, A Donnie Darko Tale. Do You Want to Know a Secret? Blumhouse's Fantasy Island, I've Not Seen the Show. Fatal, starring Mike Coulter, a.k.a. Luke Cage. Fear.com. Freaky Frogs. The Fun House. The Gallows. Ghost Ship. Glorious. Happy Death Day 2, Hatching, The Happening, followed by Hellraiser's 1 and 2, the 2005 remake of House of Wax, The Invitation, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, Joyride 1 and 2, and 3, The Killing Gene, and Love and Monsters. Okay, first shelf. Ugh. Okay, I have Megan, the insanely popular movie, Malignant, Mandrake, Mandy starring Nicolas Cage, Maximum Overdrive, The Menu, The Mummy Collection, which has Brendan Fraser and The Rock, Nature of the Beast starring Eric Roberts and Lance Henriksen, Knife Living Dead, classic, The Knife Gate starring Johnny Depp, The Omen 4 film pack, Paranormal Activity, Six Film Collection, and Next of Kin, Fan of the Opera, a classic, Pray for the Devil, a Prophecy of Five Film Collection with the first race starring Christopher Walken, Pumpkinhead, The Pumpkin Carver, The Puppet Masters, starring Donald Sutherland, Reanimator, The Requin, Rest Stop 1 and 2, The Ruins, Sasquatch, Season of Witch starring Nicolas Cage, Kane and Sino Evil, Shredder, Shudder, Signs, Silent House starring Elizabeth Olsen, The Silence of the Lambs, a great movie, The Sixth Sense starring Bruce Willis and Haley Joe Olsmont, The Skeleton Key, follow that I have Skulls 1, 2, and Skulls 3, or collectively the Skulls Trilogy. Next up is Slapface. Slayers, Slenderman, The Slumber Party Massacre, Soul Survivors, The Direct, The Killer Cut, starring Casey Affleck, Wes Bentley, and Luke Wilson, Sorry Row, a fun slasher, Species, Species 2, 
Free and the Awakening. Stay alive, pretty much. You die in the video game, you die in real life. Steel Trap. Stigmata, starring Patricia Arquette. Storm Warning. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with Tony Todd. Subspecies 2, Bloodstone. Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood 2. And Free. The Thing. 13 Ghosts, starring Matthew Lillard. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Train to Busan. The Tripper. Vacancy, starring Luke Wilson. Vacancy 2, the first cut. Victor Crowley, pretty a part of the Hatchet franchise, The Village, What Lies Beneath, starring Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer, Wishmaster Free, and Four, The Witch, Wrong Turn 1 through 5, Wrong Turn 7, or Wrong Turn 2021, and The Zombie Diaries. And, uh, and okay, guys, I think that's all for this collection video. So what do you all think of my horror movie collection? Uh, leave... Your comments 